we opened an office in 2006 in Romania. And at that time, um, we felt that that would be definitely an interesting market with 22 million inhabitants and, and for us to do an extension of our business. In 2006, 2007, it, it was a very different market. Uh, many people were rushing to do a project and therefore, um, at least we believed that at that time prices were much too high uh, for land and for any other project. So, unfortunately or fortunately at the end, we, we didn't do a lot of projects at that time back in 2007, except for buying two land sites, one in Pitest, in the automotive center hub of Romania, and one in Cluj, which is uh, central Transylvania. It's, it's, a, it's an ideal logistics distribution location. When the crisis came, uh, the, the whole region was hit and, and, and some countries more than others. Um, for sure at that time, 2008, 9, 10, 11 even, uh, there were no opportunities for CTP to continue with the Romanian activity. So we had agreed at that time with our country manager, Hanu, uh, to keep everything open, but um, low profile, no investments, no, 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 no acquisitions. Until recently, um, when I met with Frankische, uh, one of our German clients, and they are in uh, Okriski. We have built them a factory, we have extended the factory twice in the Czech Republic, and they indicated that they would like to be closer to their Romanian clients, or their clients based in Romania. And they asked us whether we would build them a similar facility as they have in the Czech Republic. Identical standards, identical property, similar rating, prices, uh, same contract. They liked uh, Cluj, Turda, so we agreed and we started to build the property for them, which in the meantime has been handed over to them and uh, they're very happy with the property. So that was, it. That was actually the first time we started to, to build a property um, in Romania in 2014. And that was the right time, we think, eh? because um, you saw clearly signals of, of recovery. The market had changed because all, many of the players who've been there since 2008-9, they, they had left. So there were opportunities for us. And this resulted for CTP in, in doing a number of acquisitions in Romania. And we have been able to buy from uh, different uh, investors, including uh, Heidmann, that was our first project outside of Bucharest, 10 hectare site, 33,000 square meter letable area. In the meantime, we have been able to buy other properties and we have signed new lease contracts for custom built solutions for both existing clients, automotive industry, as well as um, new clients. Which means that by mid 2015, we'll be at around 300,000 square meter of uh, properties in the ownership of CTP. Uh, which, which brings us to a market leader position by the autumn of this year. In terms of numbers, Romania is 22 million inhabitants. Stock means uh, what is available in terms of newly built industrial property is below 2 million square meter. So 22 million inhabitants, 2 million square meter stock. If you compare it with the Czech Republic, you have 10 million inhabitants and you have 5 million square meter stock. The conclusion might be there's undersupply of industrial property in, in, in Romania. Bucharest is the capital with 2 million inhabitants uh, with a significant GDP growth. The forecast is that GDP growth for Romania in 2015 will reach more than 3.5%. Uh, so there is growth opportunities, there, the, the market is behind, it's underdeveloped if you like. Uh, for us, the, the most important driver is our existing clients who do not plan to relocate business from the Czech Republic to Romania, but rather uh, like to be present in Romania as well, because they need to supply the automotive which is uh, based in Romania or because logistics companies who, who work with consumers or their, their, their growth is driven by uh, consumer spendings. Uh, which is up in, uh, in, in Romania. Obviously, before we enter into new markets, uh, it's very important for us to make sure that uh, all the energy and manpower and money we would need to, um, to, to set up a business outside of the Czech Republic, that, that all of that is prepared because uh, we cannot have the core business to suffer under our extension plan. Uh, so therefore we have uh, carefully um, considered to, to going into different markets, Slovakia, Romania, and we have extended our team.